Hi everyone. It's a blustery day today and I've been trying to find somewhere fairly quiet to film this intro and uh, I found it. I'm down on the very beautiful Grantham Canal, nicely sheltered. A week ago, Wendy and I rode the Way of the Roses ride from Morecambe to Bridlington. And I think I should clear something up first. Uh, one or two people have speculated that Wendy and I are married. And I just want to confirm that yes, we are married, but not to each other. In fact, Wendy is married to this fine fella, Terry. And Terry kindly agreed to drive for us in support. And by support, I mean that he would ferry our luggage between our stops because there was no camping for us. It was hotels all the way. In the event, Terry met up with us at various spots. Our three and a half hour drive up to Morecambe was dreadful in terms of weather. We had torrential rain and we were all just looking at the sky just to get a hint of sunshine coming through. The forecast was for it to clear up at two, which was around about the time we were going to start. So we had high hopes, but uh, we weren't sure. We weren't concerned with distance on the ride because we regularly ride 100 mile plus rides, but we're not used to the amount of climbing there would be on one of the days. And of course, we didn't know how we'd be riding every day. About two weeks before the ride started, I was contacted by one of our subscribers, Malk Turner, who said, I live near Morecambe. Would it be all right if I rode with you for a couple of hours? And of course, we jumped at the chance. Eh? It would be nice to meet Malk, but also it would give us some local knowledge. We'd learn about some of the things on the way. And of course, it would be handy to have somebody show us the way out of Morecambe. So after we met Malk, got ourselves ready. We made the obligatory visit to dear Eric and then we were on our way. So come with us, enjoy the ride and if you've done it before then it'll remind you of some of the places you visited. If you haven't done it it'll give you an idea of what the route's like and whether you would like to do it or not. And if you have no intention of doing it, well, at least you can see what we saw. So thanks for joining us today and enjoy the ride. Why are you ducking? <laughs> there was absolutely no need to duck there for you. Well, we're only about six miles in and we've stopped already. This is the 
beautiful River Loon. And I have to say, with, uh, without Malk here, we'd have been a bit slower because we'd have been working our way. It's, it's a little bit tricky, this first part, isn't yeah. it, if you don't know it? But Not many roses on the signs. Yeah. Not many. No. 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 You've certainly got a really beautiful part of the country to ride in, there's no doubt about it. Stunning. Yeah. Especially when the sun's out. Yeah. Trees, it's so pretty. Beautiful spot. Look at that reflection in the water, how still the water is. Wow, look at that view. So Boland Forest is just up there. That's, that's a beautiful the area. Top of Boland, that's right, yeah. 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 Absolutely stunning place to ride. Wow. So this is the Loon Valley. So the Loon carries on up and we'll, we'll track it on the left hand side and then cross it. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. It's now day two of our Way of the Roses coast to coast and we're at Clapham Station. We had a good day yesterday, it was a bit of a warm up after the three and a half hour travel up to Morecambe. Um, we did about 25 miles, 1800 feet of climbing, so it was, it was a nice little warm up. But undulating, today's they called it. Undulating, <laughs> yeah. Malk Turner rode with us for a couple of hours, which was really good, good to meet him. Um, he did describe the route as undulating, which it's probably a bit of an understatement, Malk. But <laughs> today's going to be the big climbing day. We've got the climb up settle, so we'll, uh, or out of settle, so we'll see how it looks. But the weather this morning glorious. is absolutely glorious. We couldn't have ordered anything better, so we yeah. hope it stays that way. We're going to have to get you uh, a new word today because I, I got fed up with wow yesterday. I know. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, is yeah. that lovely? But it is that sort of landscape, it isn't it? It just is. Morning, baby. <laughs> you were talking to a sheep then, weren't you? A lamb. Yeah. You're right, lamb. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Oh, you're mad. Oh, this is pretty. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> it 
weren't joking when you said we were going up there, were you? You can't believe how beautiful they are when you look at a map and things. It looks all flat on a map, doesn't it? <laughs> When Wendy planned the overnight stays, she said, we'll, we'll make sure that we've got a few miles before we get to the big climbing settle because it'll be fairly flat and we'll get into it. Well, I don't think we found a flat bit yet, have we? No. <laughs> but it's well, all that, good. That map lies. I have to say, the scenery just takes away any thoughts of uh, any pain. <laughs> It's market day. That way? Yeah. Just up that street where it says we're yes. closed. Well, I think it's more or less straight up. I think it's a bit of a funny sign. The market is slap bang in the middle of the route, so we're doing <laughs> the decent thing and walking through the market. Gives us a chance to look at it. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. A bit shopping. No, you're not shopping. Our plan was to have our second breakfast once we got up the hill out of Settle, but we turned up here and there's Terry noshing away on, <laughs> on a bacon sandwich. Bacon and egg. Bacon and egg even. And so egg. we've stopped. We're outside the bike shop and cafe in Settle. Three peak cycles. We'll give them a shout out. Very nice bacon Lovely. roll. Yeah. I think, well, she called it a sandwich, didn't she, here? So right. you never know. It depends on where you are in the country. You know that's a banjo. Have we told you why yeah. it's a banjo? Why is it a banjo? Because... <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and on that note, we'll leave you until we're on the hill. We're just starting the climb now and on the cobbles. Uh, <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> yeah, and for the next week. <laughs> He looked a bit grumpy. Yeah. I got so far and I just had to stop. And I was so pleased to see Wendy was always stopped. <laughs> so, as they say, no shame in walking. Stunning view. You can see the height we've come already, just, just from the town below but so I think I think we've done all right yeah about halfway up I hope <laughs> okay. back on again riding this last bit but that certainly was a killer hill part of the hill that was 20% I foolishly tried to put my camera on. It didn't respond to the voice command, so I went to switch it on and totally lost it and ended up in the bank. But still managed to get on and carry on until we got off to walk halfway up. But yeah, at least it's out the way. Cycling in now in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Feels like forever. No, no. we're stopping. 
we want some of those Bakewell tarts. <laughs> I bet. Oh my God, that was climbing. Right. Hi. <laughs> Yay. Hiya. Hi. <laughs> Good morning, how are you? You just ride with the biggest smile on your face, you do. don't you? It's Espe like this is nuts. Especially when you see the road descending ahead of you. <laughs> I'd rather it was flat. <laughs> Descending only means we're going to have to go back up well, somewhere. That's true. <laughs> We've only done 15 miles. <laughs> no, don't. Yeah, I kind of think 40 was a good I do. estimate for today. <laughs> This is a 20% hill, but fortunately we're going down it. It's a bit gritty ahead, Wendy, be careful. We were just commenting on how good the road surfaces are on this route. Now, I don't know if it's anything to do with it being a well-known cycle route, or it's just the normal standard, but it's absolutely superb surface. We're very close to the highest point on this route. Uh, we just passed Apple Tree Wick and uh, we stopped for a breather because we weren't sure how much further it was before we reached the highest point. It's a fair old climb. As you can see, it's fantastic views from up here. Countryside is absolutely wonderful and we just can't stop admiring everything around us just as you think it can't get any better it does i think we've only got about 10 miles to go until our night stop it's going to be a fairly local pub which we've heard is pretty good we got talking to some of the locals earlier who rated it so looking forward to that having a good rest we were both saying it's probably the hardest day cycling we've ever had which is good it's uh, stretching us we walked up the hill out of Settle Partway, but as you saw, we did quite a bit of it. But since then, we've not walked at all. Uh, this climb is fairly long. It's a fairly long climb. And as I've said earlier, takes us to the highest point on the route. So something to aim for. And then it'll be a long downhill, which we've got to take carefully by all accounts into Pateley Bridge. So how are you finding it, Wendy? It's fantastic, but exhausting. Yeah. It, the climbs are really difficult, but the views are just fantastic. Yeah. So they keep you going. So even though it's a long hill, you just can't wait to see the next view. So yeah, brilliant. But people that do it in a day? No, no way. <laughs> Huge kudos to them, I think. They're clearly a lot younger than me. <laughs> a lot younger, a lot, a lot fitter, fitter and <laughs> determined. Yeah, I don't uh, know how they do it in a no, day. And even two days, I think, yeah. would be heavy going. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I, think, I think the other thing with us, we've stopped and looked at lots of things on the way. Oh, and talked to all sorts of people and everything, yeah. haven't we? Yeah. We've spoken yeah. to loads of people. So, and that's what makes it fun. Yeah, I, I must admit, I'm a 
talker to people. If I see somebody and they look half interested, I like to have a chat. So it does tend to slow us down a bit. But that's, that's all part of life, isn't it? Meeting new people and chatting to them. Every time we think we're at the highest point, there's another hill. So what do you reckon, Wendy? Do you reckon this is it, the highest point? It's got to be. Got to be, got to be. It doesn't look like there's much more land to go up. <laughs> That's a welcome sign. 16% downhill for two miles. It's certainly giving my Juintec brake calipers uh, a run for their money and they're certainly, certainly performing well so far. Don't want to speak too soon, but absolutely no fade whatsoever. Oh my God, they're mad. It's official, you're mad. <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> oh my God. Well, we're at our hotel for our second night. We're at the Wellington Inn. Where are we? Was it Darley or Darley, something? Darley, yeah. Darley. And I have it's to on say, the hill. Terry would have taken us from Pateley Bridge. We said, no, 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 we'll ride to the hotel, which was about another five miles. My God. <laughs> five miles of hills. 18%, 19%. And down. And down. Twenty percent down. <laughs> so well. Terry has taken us to the start in the morning. I don't think he knows it yet. But <laughs> Definitely. He is. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Well done. Cheers. Cheers. Well done, Roy. Well done, Wendy. So pint pint of black sheep to end the day on. What can be better than that? Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>